This is Clint. If you never heard of this man before, you've probably been living under a rock for the past six years. To give you a bit of insight into Clint's background, he is probably the world's most captivating, grounded, incredibly gifted tool reviewer that this or any other planet has ever seen. Many say that he is a hybrid of Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Chris Hemsworth and George Clooney with a touch of Albert Einstein all rolled up into a perfect package of tool reviewer excellence. So why are we here? Why are we conducting our first every tool reviewer documentary on this extraordinary specimen? Well, because he has a new tool that he wants to show us. To be honest, the crew and myself weren't to caught up on the latest and greatest tool gadgets, but what we were shown threw us back in out seats like we were sitting in a supercharged F-16 fighter jest, being driven by the Tasmanian devil himself. What do you have there, Clint? Now this is the new Skill 18 gauge Power Core 20 Brad Nailer just hit the market. What is it that you want to show us? I want to show you how it works, dum dum. Clint went on to tell me that this was the all new Skill Power Core 20 Brushless 20 Volt Brad Nailer Kit. We were somewhat intrigued and wanted Clint to open the box to show us exactly what was inside. As Clint began to open the box, he stated that we should ditch the hoses and compressors with the cordless skill PWR Core 2018 gay Brad Nailer kit. This 20 BV cordless nailer delivers best in class runtime by driving up to 1000 nails on a single charge with the included two point array battery. It features a powerful brushless motor that drives up to two nails per second with minimal ramp up time. Dual LED lights help increase visibility when working with the nail gun in dimly lit work areas. Its quick depth adjustment wheel allows you to easily set the ideal nailing depth when driving fasteners, choose between sequential and bump modes with the mode select switch. Dry fire lockout eliminates blank firing and prevents damage to work surfaces, while tool free jam clearance offers easy access to clear nails in case of a jam. The finish nailer accepts 5 8 inch to 2 1 8 inch 8 in gauge fasteners. Clint stated that he wanted to show us how this nailer worked and that he was very excited to see what this nailer could handle. However, as he was saying this, we could see that Clint was becoming visibly upset about something. He began to shake and stated that he felt weak in his knees. We were concerned and asked him what was going on. What it something we did or said that made his so visibly upset? Clint, is everything okay? Tell me, what is going on with you right now? He looked at me, dead eye to eye, and stated that there were two things were making him feel this way. What is it, Clint? I know it's hard, but open up to us. Help us help you. Eventually, he calmed a bit and went on about the two issues that have been weighing heavy on his heart. The first was about another YouTube creator named VCG Construction. He stated that every time Clint makes a new video, that Vance, the leader of this VCG Construction crew, VCG Construction crew leaves, mean comments that make Clint sad. He didn't understand why this Vance fellow had such a deep and rooted hatred for him, and that he knew in his heart that Vance would probably make an appearance in this video's comment section and leave all those hurtful comments again. Clint did say, however, that he wants to be the bigger person here and forgive Vance for all of the horrible things that he has said to Clint over the years. We did some research on this Vance fellow and found that he does indeed have a distaste for Clint and he also has a very strange obsession for vegan cookies. When we called him for a follow-up interview to see why he was acting the way he was, he told me, I can't talk right now, cuz. I'm knee-deep in some Philly cheese steaks here. The second issue, well, we will talk about that a bit later in this video. Clint, can you show us this nailer being used? We want to see what it can do and would love to put it on film. As Clint raised the nailer up, he switched it on and began to fire one nail after the next. He stated that he wanted to do single shot first, then switch it over to Rambo mode.
My word, this nailer seems to be firing very consistently indeed. He stated that though this nailer was doing exactly what he wanted it to do, it had a bit of weight to it, that it was not as small and compact as some other nailers he had used. We looked at the box, and the stated assembled weight was 7.41 pounds. As Clint started to ramble off this incredibly factual statement, I wondered to myself, is this what it was like watching Stephen Hawking work? Unfortunately, as Clint was telling us about this new skill Brad Naylor, we noticed that familiar stare, a gaze almost. Was he going to have another episode like before? The answer to that question was, yes. Clint, what is wrong? Are you okay? Is it that Vance fellow again? Is he prank calling you again? What Clint said next, literally sent chills down the spines of my crew and myself. Tell us, why doesn't Flex Tools add a turbo button on every tool they make? Why is it on the hammer drill, but now on the new Flex Brad Naylor? Why, oh why, oh why, why indeed? After listening to Clint talk about the lack of turbo button on some of the Flex Tools, well, it just made sense to me. After about three hours of us pondering this question, Clint stated that he would like to wrap this up because he had a turkey pot pie in the over that he was excited about. Clint, what is your final thought on the skill Brad Naylor? I really love that they added the 100 watt output bat ray. This thing is fantastic, charges on a C port super quick. This thing will charge your phone faster than a wall outlet 100% of the time. I love that they added this and it's a 45 watt charging brick. It, this is really cool, I was really excited to see that. I do really like the nailer, I think it works really, really good. However, there is like a flywheel type of sound motion in there, so it's not the fastest out there. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit bulkier, but it sank every single nail that I've tried multiple times, one after another, one after another. So anybody that's a prosumer, DIYer, doesn't want to spend a lot of money on a pro tool, well, you might want to check this out. And there you have it. No other words in the history of language have ever his my soul harder than the words Clint used in today's video. Clint mentioned that he would absolutely 100% recommend this nailer to anyone that did not want to spend an insane amount of money for a professional grade nailer. This, in his words, was a pro sumer grade nailer that won't break the bank, but will get the job done. It was a bit heavier and a bit bulkier than some of those pro-grade nailers. But he was impressed with how well it worked and what you got in the kit for that price. If you would like to see us conduct more interviews with Clint in the future, let him know in the comments section below. We would be honored to spend more time with this magnificent man among men and would even be willing to say it would be real Nas-like. <laughs>